Hello and welcome to the Morningstar Investment Conference. I'm Emma Wall and I'm joined today by Lord Deben to talk about climate change. Hello, Lord Deben. Hello. So why should investors care about climate change? Because they want to make money. <laughs> if, they, if they don't recognise that companies that don't deal with the threat of climate change will lose money, then they themselves will be investing in the wrong places. Because after all, the whole world is fighting climate change. Climate change has a real effect on all of us. And companies which get there first, who make sure their products are made in a way which doesn't pollute the atmosphere, make sure that their businesses use less energy, make sure they're using renewable energy, all those things will contribute to their profit. Because I think it's fair to say maybe a decade ago when you looked to be a green investor, you had to choose between ethics and profits because a number of the sort of so-called sin stocks outperformed. But now there is such uh, pressure, as you say, from government and also from investors about ESG, that actually that's no longer the case. You can't have both, can't you? Oh, well, of course, and so you should, because what sustainability is about is saying, how do you make sure that your business is here in five years' time? And we all know companies like Arthur Anderson, for example, who didn't think of that, and their businesses aren't here any longer, but they thought they were eternal. And there, there are lots of companies now who won't be here in 10, 15 years' time, and they will be decline if they don't face up to the realities that climate change is serious, governments are determined to fight them, and people are recognizing that. Why, why do you think they're so keen, for example, not using plastic straws and getting rid of plastic ear uh, things and all the rest of it? It's because people begin, have begun seriously to recognize uh, the, the, the frightening prospects. Let's name and shame then. Which industries are worse at accepting that this is the new reality? Well, of course, the fossil fuel industries are bound to be the worst because they are actually producing something which is the, the main cause. Uh, other industries that you'd have expected to be bad, for example, industries that depend on refrigeration have actually faced that. If you look at Coca-Cola, for example, which is no longer buying uh, refrigeration based on HFCs, you look at uh, Unilever, which has done the same thing. These are industries which have faced up to the issue. And since in both those cases, faced up to it long before it became a public matter, so that by the time it did, they had changed. They were different. And how much can investors play a part in this? Because, of course, shareholders have rights. Is it about putting pressure on those companies that, that haven't made those adjustments in order to ensure that they're there in, as you say, five years' time? Well, I very much believe in shareholder activism. I, I don't much like people who say, I'm not going to I'm not going to have shares in this or that kind of thing, because it, it means that they opt out of the pressures that they could have. So we were discussing earlier on about the, the gun laws in America and people saying, I don't want to have shares in companies that make guns. I think you should have shares in companies that make guns, but you should make sure those companies don't sell to children under 21, don't sell products which are uh, wholly unsuitable. What on earth does somebody want a Kalashnikov for? I mean, this, there are a whole series of things that you can do without saying that you can't have a shotgun properly licensed and properly used. But you, the, the, it, it is for the shareholders to do those pressures. But it is true that you must choose. I mean, there are certain uh, uh, great fossil fuel companies that are trying to make a difference. But I wouldn't myself want to have shares in ExxonMobil, for example, who's come very late about the, the party and I'm not sure is actually there yet. So it's about best of breed, in your opinion? It's about best of breed. And of course, people choose their own interests and of course it would be good to be supporting some of the startup companies which are really out there not only because it's a good thing but also because some of those are going to strike really good and they'll be the ones where you make your real profits. Lord Deben thank you very much. Thank you. This is Emma Wall for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.